really. As you can tell as <clears throat> on this title, Marcus Morris said the Clippers were underdogs. Meanwhile, while they were down 2-0, actually they were favorites on every game on DraftKings and FanDuel, all of those betting sites. They were favorites to win all four games. And I get game three and four because they're down 2-0. So I get that part. But, like, y'all are favorites. Like, ESPN had a poll. Uh, ESPN had, you know, what they thought the Clippers and Mavs series were. And one person picked the Mavs in seven. The rest picked the Clippers to win the series in five, six, or seven, something like that. Like, 17-1. to one. Marcus Morris, how the fuck are y'all underdogs? Y'all were never underdogs in this series. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck Marcus Morris is even thinking about tweeting that. But. I'm going to leave it at that. Like, how the hell is the Clippers the underdogs? Clippers got Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, which is a better one-two punch than Luka and KP because KP... Listen, I'm not even going to get into KP, but their their two players are better than our top two players. But Luka is the best player in this series, though. So, I... Marcus Morris, man, you know, last year in the playoffs, doing that to Luka's ankle and, you know, all that, you know, trying to get in his head. And now saying this comment, man, that's stupid. That's so stupid, man. But to do predictions for tonight's game, um, I'm gonna go Lakers. Even with even if AD don't play, I think uh, I think LeBron will go off. Um, I got Portland winning, and I got the Nets ending the series. So I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.